What's up guys, Shiny Enter Zach here. I am back from my first XY Fates Collide pre-release. This one was in Austin, Texas, and I had a really good time. They changed the format of the pre-releases up quite a bit. As you may know, it used to be that you would enter, you pay, it's normally $30. You go in, you pay, you get your six packs of the new set. When the tournament organizer says go, you have 30 minutes to open up those packs and then make a 40 card deck with them and they provide energy cards for you and then you play anywhere from three to four rounds and after those uh, rounds you get two more packs for playing in the tournament so in this pre-release and i believe for the pre-releases going forward they made a set four different sets of 23 card little packs and there are four different pre-release promos in each of these sealed packs and in, on top of that you also get four regular packs of the newest set which in this case was XY Fates Collide and the one that I got was the Zygarde one which is pretty cool to get a new Pokemon I'll show you guys what my deck looked like and get some of the other cards out as well uh, my pulls weren't that great as as you may know the only real thing of note I got in my packs was this Lucario Hollow that looks really really cool actually there's the Mega Alakazam for you Mega Alakazam also being in this set but we got that Lucario and then here's the deck I used I went two and one uh, I mentioned this on Twitter but I actually lost my first game and it was to somebody who had never been to a pre-release before and then the very next round I played a city uh, both champion and top uh, two and four finisher in different cities and I believe they've also you know been to worlds and everything and I beat them uh, so that just kind of gives you an insight into how loose uh, and how different pre-releases are from other tournaments but here's the deck that I ran uh, it basically revolved around fighting and fire type Pokemon the pack the set of cards that I got not the actual packs but it had a 3-2-2 line of Delphox which was really good Sly Storm for 3 energy does 20 times the number of energy attached to all Pokemon in play, which turned out to be very, very nice. The way that I beat uh, that city champion whose name was Harry Wada, uh, I actually beat him because he only played one Pokemon and it was an EX. And I got a bunch of energy on my Pokemon, uh, my Delphox, and he had a bunch of energy on his Pokemon, and I used the attack uh, Sly Storm for 200 damage, which was amazing. And then I also had some fighting Pokemon in here, like the... I forget what this form is called, like 50% form, uh, maybe 10% form, I can't remember. Uh, but that is one of the Zygarde in this set. Uh, I also used, the tournament organizer also let us use the promo that we got. I didn't get a staff promo this time around, but this is the promo I got. There's four of these, like I said. The other ones, I believe, are Tyranitar, White Kyrim, and Moltres. I actually pulled that Moltres in a pack and decided to use it, and it came in pretty clutch. And I had some carving in there. My nice reverse double colorless, which they've added kind of a pinkish tint to. And so I actually did pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how I did for a pre-release tournament. It also came with a sort of, you know, bad quality cardboard deck box. Uh, but people can use it if they want to. And then a little, you know, outside thing for it that I couldn't figure out in the beginning. I'm, I apologize, by the way, that the coverage at the very beginning was sort of wonky. Like the camera wouldn't focus and my tripod wouldn't keep my camera up. But that's just how it goes, I guess. And then, of course, I got some other cards as well. Some nice uh, cards that I couldn't use. There's a cool reverse of Jigglypuff and some code cards as well. A nice uh, girl that was sitting near me wasn't going to use her code cards and offered me them. So uh, I took them, which was very nice of her. But that is about it. I have four packs to open up. The So the reason that this pre-release was different is that you got the sealed pack of 23 cards and then four additional booster packs. You made the deck and then we played three rounds and at the end of the tournament we got four additional packs. So we got four and four instead of two or six and two. Uh, but it's the same price and this is probably how they're going to do it from now on. But these actually came from a booster box. Uh, I got one of each pack art. I didn't get a Delphox artwork when I got my packs out of the box. I got two of these Zygarde instead. But I guess I'll start off with this Lugia break pack. And let me go ahead and put the camera down and the DS down. See, there that's what I'm talking about right there. My camera won't stay up half the time. So I may have to get a new tripod. This one wasn't too expensive, though. And like I said, we'll start off with this Lugia Break Pack. See, there it goes again. Hold on. Let me put the code card the other way. And we'll put this like that and hope that it stays. Code card goes there. And then, of course, one, two, three, one, two is the trick. And in this pack, we have a Fennekin, Snubble, uh, Seal, Bronzor, 
Cottony. And I didn't pull one of these out of those four packs, but I've been very excited to pull one of these. Very contentious card in the Pokemon trading card game. A lot of people wanted it back, and a lot of people didn't want it back uh, very vehemently so. So this uh, allows both players to shuffle their hand into their deck and then draw cards equal to the amount of prize cards that are left. And then we also have a Halucha and a Dome Fossil Kabuto, which uh, I pulled a Fossil Pokemon. I pulled an Aerodactyl, but I couldn't use it because I didn't have an Old Amber. My reverse is a Devolution Spray, which I didn't actually know got reprinted. This is new artwork, and it looks really, really nice. I remember when this card got reprinted in the modern era for the first time back in Dragon's Exalted, and now it's back here. And then, I don't know why I'm putting that back there. My rare is... Oh, nice! We got a Hollow. So we got the Delphox Hollow that came in the uh, sealed package that I got. That one was just a rare. It wasn't a Hollow, so I guess that's how you differentiate them. But apparently it's a Hollow in the set. Psystorm, of course, I already told you guys how awesome an attack that is. It's got 140 HP, the Pokemon does, and Psystorm, of course, like I said, is just incredibly good. So, good way to start off. Let's go on now to this Zygarde pack. Zygarde, of course, in this set. I would like to pull that. I'd also like to pull Regirock. That's one of my uh, preferred legendaries. We have a Mancino, a Volibee, a Kind Volibee. Larvitar, Coughing, Snivy, a Wigglytuff, Audino Spirit Link. Look at that. That is pretty adorable. It's got the bubbles in the background and everything. Of course, Mega Audino is in the set. And we have Power Memory. Now, this functions sort of like a G Booster did, but it's not an A spec. It's, it gives Zygarde EX the attack, all cells burn, which, for 200, which does 200 damage for 3 energy, and you have to discard 3 energy attached to the Zygarde EX that it's attached to. So. That is not bad at all. My reverse is a Zygarde, which is an uncommon. I pulled this one and used it in my deck, like I said. And my rare is a Bronzong. Now this Bronzong is actually pretty cool. The ability prevents all effects of your opponent's attacks, including damage done to your benched Pokemon. So it's like the Mr. Mime from the Plasma sets, but even better because it prevents more than just damage. Uh, unfortunately, it is a stage one though, so that makes it a little bit tricky. Uh, let's move on to our third pack, which is an Alakazam, a Mega Alakazam pack. Hopefully this has something good in it. That would be very nice. What we have here, a Deerling. Somebody actually used this against me during the tournament. Minchino, Bronzor, a Snubble, Burmy, Old Amber Aerodactyl, Wormadam, and Random Receiver. This got reprinted. As you can see there, it has a Professor... The new Professor on there, uh, instead of it has Professor Sycamore on there instead of Professor Juniper. Uh, the old one from Dark Explorers, of course, had Juniper because Sycamore didn't exist yet. My reverse here is a Chinchino, and that is an uncommon. I believe I pulled one of these. Not the reverse though. And my rare is a Snorlax. I didn't know this was in the set. That's pretty cute. Toss and turn does 30, and then it does uh, 90 more damage if this Pokemon is asleep and it can use it while it's asleep. And Swallow for uh, 4 energy does 50 damage, and you heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage that, that you did to your opponent's Pokemon. The Meganium Bra or the regular Meganium, the Hollow from the last set, had a, an attack very similar to that. I believe it actually did the same thing. So, last pack here is a Delphox Break Pack. Uh, if you thought Delphox was good, there's a break to go on top of it. But last pack here, we have a Coughing. Meowth, they print Meowth so much. We have Larvitar, a Diglett, that's a pretty Diglett. We have Spoink, a Duosion, a, Ma a Mega Catcher, I thought that said Magic Catcher for a second. Mega Catcher, switch one of your opponent's benched Mega Evolution Pokemon with his or her active. This works like a Pokemon Catcher, but just for Mega Pokemon. Kind of risky to play it in your deck, just to counter one type of deck, which would primarily be like Primal Groudon or something, but you can play it. And then we have a Brakeson. My last reverse here is going to be a Fennekin, so we got a Delphox Hollow and then a Fennekin Reverse to go along with it. This is the 50 HP one, there's also a 60 HP one. And my last rare... Oh yeah! We got an EX to finish things off! I'm really glad I didn't uh, finish this pre-release off without getting anything. So I got a Pokemon that I know my friend uh, Alf Kynvolby was really excited uh, for himself, and that is Mega Autono EX. This came out in a battle deck over in Japan, but they've decided to include it in our series over here in on the western side of things. Uh, this Mega does 110 damage for 3 energy with Magical Symphony. 
and it says if you played a supporter card from your hand during this turn this attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's benched pokemon and then it has a weakness to fighting and a retreat cost of three with 220 hp but that is an excellent pull uh, my first official ex for xy fates collide and then i also got a lucario hollow and a delphox hollow to go along with that as well as this sweet looking promo of zygarde so that is going to do it for this video. I'm going to move uh, Mega Otter up to the front here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. Like and favorite the video and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch at ShinyHunterZach for more content. And until next time, I will see you guys later.